Hello, staff, students, and parents, and guardians of the children, students of class of 2021. Uh, on Wednesday, uh, we had our virtual move up day for our rising seniors, the class of 2021. And unfortunately, the uh, video file did not record properly. So I wanted to go over the presentation for those who weren't able to uh, attend uh, so that we can post this video on YouTube. So I'm just going to go through the presentation for you here so that you will be able to see uh, and recognize the hard work of the class of 2021. So first we started off with some uh, quotes from the various staff members um, of George Washington High School and, our, and their messages for the class of 2021. So thank you to all the George Washington staff who took time to send out these inspirational messages to uh, the class of 2021. So again, this was our virtual move up day, which was Wednesday. Um, and this ceremony is something that dates back 56 years in the history of George Washington High School. And it's designed as a sort of an end of year celebration and ceremony to literally move the juniors class up to becoming the next year's senior class. Um, the students would be in the auditorium. They would be students, juniors would be sitting in the back. 
the seniors would be sitting in the front, the seniors would get up out of their seats, and the juniors would literally move up to become the new seniors. So, you know, obviously we're not physically in school because of the COVID-19 pandemic, but this was our opportunity to pay uh, respect and acknowledge what the students did this year and their hard work. Uh, so our first message comes from our principal, Ms. Thompson. Welcome class of 2021 to move up day. Although we're not doing this in the auditorium and physically moving you all from one seat to another, we are doing this in spirit. It's really important at these times to recognize that this year has been incredibly difficult for all of us, but we have to learn from the adversity we have encountered and we have to be better than we have been. During next year, you'll have the opportunity to lead the school, to be the true leaders and the students that we count on to make a name for George Washington High School. I have great expectations for you all. I miss seeing your faces, and I hope that this day you realize how important you are to us and how important you are to the school, and we can't wait for the opportunity to see you as the class of 2021 become the leaders we know you are. Be well, take care, stay safe. We will stay in touch. Thank you, Ms. Thompson. Yes, for these, those kind words. And we do expect a lot of our juniors as they become the new senior class. Uh, our next message was actually done live by Mr. Poole. Unfortunately, he did not record this, um, but Mr. Poole basically sent out a message of hope and inspiration in these trying times of pandemics and social injustice that uh, our students are becoming role models in our school and examples for our underclassmen. So thank you, Mr. Poole, for being also the 11th grade uh, assistant principal for the 11th grade academy this past year. Um, our next uh, video here is a short little montage of some of the best moments from this past school year, 2019 and 2020.
just a quick, you know, little montage of some of our events from the Turkey Bowl and beating Ryan for the first time in many years to our Powder Puff, our wrestling event, uh, the Blood Drive, ice skating events, all things that, you know, made 2019 to 2020 a memorable year. Um, so our first uh, video message from our staff comes from our NHS sponsor, Mr. Weatherby. You are now officially known as the 21ers. Congratulations to the class of 21. I'm looking forward to watch the NHS 21ers in action and to the rest of the class of 21, please support your NHS classmates as you move up and move through your final year of high school. So thank you, Mr. Weatherby, for that uh, always entertaining uh, message to our students. Uh, and speaking of NHS, we have a, mem uh, a message from the outgoing cabinet of 20 class uh, 2020 NHS members to our upcoming class of 2021 NHS members. Hello, rising seniors. To be a part of the National Honor Society is one of the greatest honors for a high school student. It gives you an opportunity to serve your community with your fellow members and set an example for the younger generation. As incoming members, we hope you will uphold the standards of the National Honor Society while being led by your cabinet. To begin, the president of the class of 2021 Colonial Chapter of the National Honor Society is Alan Basil. While having the honor to serve as president, I have learned to lead with courage and responsibility. The duty of the president is to maintain harmony and delegate responsibilities to other members. Alan, I know that you will be a great president and will set a great example for your peers. Congratulations. It's truly an honor to serve as the Class of 2020 National Honor Society Vice President. And now, the wonderful moment has arrived to pass this position on to another wonderful cabinet member that will also fulfill this responsibility as a vice president. The vice president of Class of 2021 Colonial Chapter National Honor Society is Kadovan Birishman Shwili. Congratulations. I'd like to say that it was an absolute honor for me to be part of the National Honor Society 2020. Now I would like to congratulate the Secretary of the Class of 2021 Colonial Chapter of the National Honor Society, Helena Joy. Helena, first of all, congratulations. You deserve it. I have really high hopes for you, and I know that you will do your absolute best as Secretary. The historian of the class of 2021 colonial chapter of the National Honor Society is Anastasia Belisnitska. As the historian, he will be responsible for capturing the most important and precious moments of your cohort. You will have an important duty to collect and preserve the information that will reflect the hard work and commitment of your peers. Congratulations and good luck. I'd like to start off by saying thank you for letting me be a part of this incredible chapter of NHS. It was an honor being your treasurer. Now this honorable position is passed out to the next brilliant cabinet member, the treasurer of the class of 2021 colonial chapter of National Honor Society is Hannah Shivu. Hannah, I believe you'll be an outstanding treasurer and fulfill the responsibilities that comes with this position. Congratulations. What's the privilege? to be the Public Relations Officer of the National Honor Society. I enjoyed working with fellow scholars and cabinet promoting events organized by NHS. With that being said, Public Relations Officer of the Class of 2021 Colonial Chapter of the National Honor Society is Jonathan Amiga. Jonathan, I know that you are delighted to take the responsibility and yield the best out of it. Congratulations. To the Class of 2021, Colonial Chapter of the National Honor Society. We hope that each and every one of you is able to fulfill the responsibilities and meet the expectations that come with being a member. To the cabinet members, although you all have individual duties, the cabinet works as a whole to not only better their cohort, but also their community. Never forget that you are a team. At times, you may need to fulfill other duties outside of your position. This will be an unforgettable experience that will benefit you in great ways. 
We know you are all capable of carrying out your duties and bringing positive changes to our community. We wish you all the best of luck. Congratulations to the class of 2021. So thank you to the class of 2020 NHS cabinet members. And then again, there you see our class of 2021 cabinet members uh, who I'm sure will all do a great job and working with Mr. Weatherby to better not just themselves, but NHS and the George Washington community. Uh, our next message comes from the DECA sponsor, Jeff Beck. Hey, class of 2021, this is Chef Beck. Happy move up day. I just wanted to say hi and hope everybody's doing well. And I wanted to just, you know, tell you about next year's DECA Club. Uh, I think we're going to have a great year. Some new faces are going to be around. Uh, also, to all those that will be returning, can't wait to see you all. And we're going to have some great programs and fundraisers so that we can make DECA the best it's ever been. So congratulations, can't wait to see you all in the fall. Have a great summer and uh, stay well and stay unified. Take care. Thank you, Chef Beck, for their message and looking forward to all the DECA events in uh, 2021. Okay, so um, one of the, the next part of the ceremony was to uh, recognize the hard work of individuals in the content areas. Um, so the 11th grade teachers for various subjects selected one exemplary student uh, to be honored for their dedication and achievement in the classroom. Uh, so it was broken, broken down by subject and then different uh, subjects within the content area. So our first uh, areas, this is my favorite of course, social studies. Uh, so first we have for Miss Austin, uh, at Margaret History class, Patricia Simmons, Mr. Green, Christina Johnson, and Mr. Koch, Pooja Patel. For sociology, Miss Austin, Sharon Dong, and for my cl class of psychology, Chandrama Candy Subadi. Uh, English, English three, we had Mr. Kiner give his award to Kevin Chang, and Miss Gitzes to Ashna Paul. Math, Algebra two, Mr. Zolotnitsky, Maria Clara Ferreira. Geometry, Miss Tunney, Bermet Tuchna Bakova. I'm sorry if I mess up any of these names. Mr. Bolgen, Joan Niju. Science, chemistry, Dr. Barani to Bismi Varghis. Mr. Applebaum to John Flood. Physics, Mr. Applebaum gave to two students, Sharon Dong and Lana Vabish Chivich. Sorry, Lana. Uh, anatomy, Ms. Baines to Kalina Kuriakos. And forensics, Ms. Lackey to Joan Niju. CTE, Ms. Chacha gave the NFT award to Zia White. Chef Beck in the culinary, the executive chef award went to Brandy Antunas. And to sports marketing with Mr. Beatrice, Alexa Becker. Foreign languages, Spanish one, Ms. Asensio, Noel Jones. Spanish two with Ms. Asensio, Teslin Joseph. Spanish three with Mrs. Pacheco, Kenna Patel. The arts, start off with visual arts. Art one with Ms. Hagelin, to went to Sharon Dong. Art two with Mr. Meekins to Sahil Ahmed. Visual arts, graphic design with Mr. Meekins, Ilya Matvienko. Photo to Mr. Meekins with Sajin Samuel. Performing arts, choir with Mr. Saki, went to Marcus Torres. Piano with Mr. Chen to Rosalia Luciano. And orchestra with Mr. Chen, Katerina Solima. Physical education, Mr. Reed, Joan Niju. And health, Mr. Metellus, Matthew Fabian. Advanced placement. For psychology with Ms. Riggs, Disha Patel. U.S. history, Mr. Miley to Tyler Crouch. English with Mr. Weatherby to Alan Basil. Biology with Ms. Goldstein to Kalina Curiacos. Art with Ms. Hagen, Elizabeth Bachchori Shavili. Computer science with Ms. Amulo. Kunj Patel, 
International Baccalaureate. We had both English with Mr. Marchio and chemistry with Dr. Abraham, go to Jonathan Amika. History with Mr. Miley, went to Ketaman Pyrosh Manasvili. Math with Mr. Baker, also went to Ketaman Pyrosh Manasvili. Psych with Ms. Levitan, Anastasia Kondratsenka. TOK, Ms. Levitan, Helena Joy. Russian SL with Mr. Zolodnitsky, Victoria Rispieva. Russian HL with Mr. Zolodnitsky, Bermet Tochbikova. Spanish SL, Mrs. Pacheco, Jonathan Amica. And last but not least, we had two students who were able to get the seal of biliteracy. First in French, we had Laurie Sherry. And in Russian, we had Ilya Matvienko. Again, I just wanted to congratulate all these students on their outstanding work and, and dedication in their classes. And your teachers wanted to uh, acknowledge you for that. If your name wasn't on here this year, hopefully you'll be uh, on the awards when we give out uh, on, the, on the stage, rather when we give out our awards for the class of 2021. All right, and the, our, our next message comes from the current class of 21 and co-sponsor, Ms. Sorkin. Hi, everybody. I'm here to offer the most sincere congratulations on your move up day to the class of 2021. Uh, my name is Ms. Sorkin, and I am one of the current senior class sponsors of the class of 2020. And I am here at George Washington for our final day of cap and gown distribution for the class of 2020. Um, sitting here in the back of the auditorium where you should be sitting or have already moved up um, and you are ready to take on the role of the new leaders and role models of George Washington High School. Move Up Day is a tradition at George Washington High School that we've had for 56 years. Um, and I'm so proud for you to be a part of the tradition where you move from the back to the front and take on such a huge role at George Washington. This has been a really strange year, but you can say that you are the first class to have ever been able to do this virtually. And I am excited for you and I am proud of you. I'm also your yearbook sponsor and I'm excited to be able to capture your memories of what you are going to accomplish this year, of what we're going to document this year, and how we can make your senior year so amazing and so fantastic. So when we come back in September, I hope that you want to be a part of my team and help define your year and all four years of George Washington to be the most memorable they have ever been. I'm excited. I'm proud of you. I'm excited for Mr. Camp to have been able to go on this experience with you. So congratulations, Mr. Camp. Congratulations to the new class officers and congratulations to the class of 2021. Enjoy your summer. I can't wait to see you in the fall. Congratulations again. Thank you, Ms. Sorkin, for your kind words. And I want to thank you for the help that you've given me so far for this year, and hopefully the help you'll give me next year. Um, the whole entire school owes you a great deal of gratitude for all that you do for every event and every spirit event, and we have a, we owe, owe you a debt of gratitude. Um, our next message comes from the other class of 2020 co-sponsor, Ms. Coletti. Class of 2021, you have been through some extraordinary times. I congratulate you all for pushing through. There will be a light at the end of this tunnel. It will have made you stronger, computer savvy, and prepared to fight obstacles. Ultimately, you'll be able to look forward to a better future. Congratulations, Ms. Clay. Thank you, Ms. Clay, and I think I agree with you that uh, this, this whole experience will make you guys that much stronger and more resilient. Okay, um, so the next thing that we did for our um, presentation was to swear in our office. And obviously, Mr. Poole is not here to give the oath, and our, and our class officers aren't here to swear in. But I just wanted to read you the oath that these, these students took as they became the class of 2021 officers. So here it is. I pledge myself to uphold the aims and responsibilities of my office to which I have been elected, striving in every way by word and deed to make its ideals the ideals of my school and of my life. I pledge myself to uphold the high purposes of an officer to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. I will be loyal to my school 
and will maintain and encourage high standards of service, leadership, citizenship, and character. I pledge myself to represent the ideas and concerns of my fellow students, to encourage worthwhile activities in the school and community, to foster patriotism and school spirit, and to provide responsible leadership for our student body. I do promise to uphold the aims and responsibilities of my office, and as an active member, to strive to develop the qualities necessary to become a leader in the school and community in which I live. Uh, and that was the oath of office. And I just wanted to say to my class of 2021 officers, our president, Jennifer Knightlinger, Vice President Katerina Salima, our secretary, Lana Babishchevich, sorry, Lana, I always mess up your last name, Treasurer Ketevan Pyrosh Manasvili, and our parliamentarian, Daya Stanley, that you guys, or you ladies, have all done, have already done a great job on helping me plan out events for the junior year, and I expect the same hard work and dedication in your senior year. So thank you, and congratulations on becoming Class of 2021 officers. Um, and then speaking of our Class of 2021, here's a message from our president, Jennifer Knightley. Hello class of 2021 and happy move up day. Although this is not the way we all expected our years to conclude, we must remain positive and think about what next school year has to bring. In September, we will walk into George Washington High School as seniors and make our senior year the greatest that GOF has ever seen. We have an abundance of events to look forward to next year, especially the finest senior prom. During this time, we must remain positive and keep our heads up as better days are to come. We are no longer juniors, we are seniors now. Top of the school, a role model for others. Do not forget the power that you hold. We promise that your senior year will be the best and one to remember. And until we see each other again, I hope you all remain safe and healthy. Keep up your studies and have a phenomenal summer. So thank you, Jennifer, for those kind words. And I really want to echo what she says, that you guys are the role models for the school now. You're the senior class and the, upper, and the uh, lower classmen will be looking up to you to set a model for our school. Um, so I just wanted to take my part here to read a little uh, pre message that I have for everyone. Um, I know this is not how we plan on celebrating Move Up Day, um, but here we are at the end of your junior year. This year, albeit cut short, uh, was one that I hope you learned a lot in the classroom and outside the classroom. Junior year is a very important year for you, and as you begin to plan out your future, whether it's college, trade school, getting into the workforce, whatever it is you choose to do, I hope that you are starting to find some clarity in your future plans. As your sponsor, I will try to, to do my best to make sure that this year, your senior year, is one for the ages. Uh, myself, along with your class officers, will work our hardest to ensure that, um, that uh, we will have events and activities that will commemorate your senior year in a way that you will remember long past graduation. Uh, trips, events, fundraisers, prom, and ultimately graduation. I hope that everyone has, uh, has an enjoyable summer and safe summer. Continue to grow as a person and as a learner. And they say you're always supposed to put some sort of quote in, in speeches. So I decided to ch choose someone who was very special to me for much of my life, a very wise man. Um, and those of you who know me will know this is very fitting. Uh, I chose my man Yoda. Do or do not, there is no try. Always try your best. Do work hard. Do those things that will set you apart. Okay. And as we uh, wrap this thing up, I wanted to just go through – a list of all of our uh, juniors, now seniors, who have moved up in George Washington High School.
That is what we have planned for move up day. So I hope everyone that is watching this, um, that is a junior or affiliated with any juniors, that you had a great junior year as you now rise to become our senior class, class of 2021. Uh, thank you for taking the time to watch this. And I hope that everyone has a wonderful day, enjoyable summer, and we'll see you all in the end of August. Thank you.